Hello and welcome to my four-part series on using Pymore to visualize proteins and exporting your model for 3D printing. These videos are designed for third-year biologists, but will help anyone who wants a quick guide on the basics of Pymore. To download Pymore, go to pymore.org and request an educational copy of the software. Part 1 will be a recap for most of you on finding a protein in an amino acid sequence, then downloading its solved structure. If your protein hasn't been solved, we'll go through how you can predict its structure. Part 2 will cover the basics of pymol and imaging. Skip to here if you already have a protein file. Part 3 will instruct how to produce high quality videos on pymol using Windows, and Part 4 will explain how to export your model for 3D printing. We are going to start with a faster format sequence for an unusual DHP synthase. This sequence can be copied by opening the file with Notepad. If we do not know the protein that we are dealing with, we need to run a protein blast search on the amino acid sequence. A standard non-redundant protein search should yield a list of possible proteins, but using a position-specific iterative search is more thorough in its investigation. This will produce a list of possible proteins contained in the sequence. The lower the E number, the higher the likelihood that we have a match. We will now check the RCSB protein data bank to see if our protein structure has been solved. The PDB is the best resource that structural biology has. When a new protein is structured or properties described, the scientists are obliged to update the protein's profile or to create a new entry as required. As you can see, our protein structure specific for varicosis spore and maris hasn't yet been solved. Let's try it without the organism. The search is yielding hits, but for homologues of the protein in other organisms, they won't have the same structure. We will now search for green fluorescent protein, the structure of which is well documented to show you how to download a protein file if the structure of your molecule has already been solved. As you can see, the protein file is available in the top right hand of the screen. Open the drop down menu and download the PDB file in text format. If you do not need to predict the structure of your protein, move on to part 2. If the protein was not on the PDB, it is possible that the protein has not yet been structured. X-ray crystallography is the most widely used physical investigative tool, but is very resource heavy. There are various software tools to predict the structure of a protein. Arguably the best is the ITASA software, made freely available on a server supplied by the Yang Zhang Lab at the University of Michigan. This free-to-use server scans our amino acid sequences for homologues of structures and known proteins before iteratively protein threading to produce a final structure. Simply sign up to the server using your academic email address before inputting your amino acid sequence in faster format. Depending on the queue of jobs, your structure can take around a week to be solved. RaptorX is a good alternative if you do not have an academic email address or need the job done more quickly. Although rated below ITASA by the independent CAS board, the two softwares produce very similar results as shown on the screen by a comparison of predictions of the unusual DAHP synthase. Once the structure has been predicted, you will receive an email containing a link to a web page where you can download the .pdb file of your protein. The time taken to predict a protein will be determined by the backlog of files on the server and the available spots. Jobs posted towards the end of a working week will take longer than those at the beginning iTASA is more popular than RaptorX, making it slower. Download the .pdb file of the protein. 